something different, I'm way solid, it ain't real enough. Ain't been speaking to my dog, it's crazy. When I make it, I'm a reach, but now I got you, I'm gonna pick you up. You see how I'm still a demon, so I'm gonna hit him up. Cause I'm too solid. We had a plan, I made a promise. Then I'm gonna get us out the hood as soon as I got it. My street car, super stick, you know I'm violent. And it's not a foreign whip, got money, but it's more to get. Picking sides and running around with options. No, you ain't my dog if you complaining about who eat first. I come out the jungle when we took the up the heat first. I've been praying five a day, I do it till my knees hurt. Lost in the trenches, we the lost so. Lily, I've been ducking knuckles. I'm plotting, and we've been playing Marco. Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco. He was a demon till we put him on a t shirt. We ain't falling victim to these niggas, gotta squeeze first. Run up on my gang, we gon' put your to reverse. Got Papa Pitta do a drill. All these bitches wanna be her Control these n****s like my puppets cause it's Skeeter I'm a felony on the misdemeanor oh, All my brothers came up bitch with we ball Then if we get caught we ain't sad with all we saw These n****s rats they been calling out to law Real n****s since day one my back against the wall Stay down on my toes Gotta clap out for them that's more drills on my pole Heard they bustin' traps there we out there to the close If really got an issue then I'm riding on my soul No, you ain't my dog if you complaining about who eat first. I come out the jungle when we talk the up the heat first. I've been praying five a day, I do it till my knees hurt. Lawsuits. In the trenches, we the lawsuits. Lately, I've been ducking knuckles. I've plotting and we've been playing Marco. Polo, Marco, Polo, Marco. Yeah, starting on this podcast, episode 41. You know what I'm saying? We back in the building. Got Low Key Steve with us. Got motherfucking Gator J. What's that name? Yeah. Tay is on the way. She late as usual. Got an audience with us, man. Uh, DJ, DJ Upset. Game of Bow. Hey, you know hey. What the hell is DJ Upset? <laughs> <laughs> That nigga try to be a DJ, man. Yeah, DJ upset. You gonna make that DJ upset over there, nigga. Stop it now, Steve. How y'all feeling, man? Y'all feeling good? Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the week, man? Man, just a week, boy. That's all I'm saying. Week, one week in the book. Yeah. One week at a time right now, boy. Y'all listen to the uh, Donda album. Y'all fucking with it? I ain't listen to it. I listen to it. I fought with a couple tracks on there. I ain't gonna lie. That's a couple on my phone. Jail, Jail's my hardest track, man. I've been stuck on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of heavy. I've been listening to that shit. But I need, I need to listen to, you know what I'm saying, the rest of that shit. But I mean, I heard the whole album, but I just But you to... ain't processed the break yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah, facts. yeah. You listen to it like, okay, I kind of vibe with this one. But you ain't broke it all the way down right. to the point. All right. That's how I do, man. I, when I listen to an album, I gotta break it down. It, it don't take me two or three weeks to, you know, be like, oh, this shit a masterpiece. I got, I got at least listen to it about a good three or four months. Now, it's not a masterpiece. I can tell you that just from listening to how to listen to it. Why you say but that? It ain't his best work. You say you got put out before, uh... I'm on that bullshit. Put out, right? That, that's put a lie. Out, right? it's, I mean, everybody think it's a lie. That is a lie. Label just don't put your shit out. I ain't listen to it yet, though. I, I, I listen to it when I want to listen to it, man. Like, yeah. He wait too long to put it out. It's, just fuck I, that shit. I think the album too long, too, man. Everybody it, said it was. It's only, what, 16? No, uh, it's 27 tracks. Is it? I hate, good, I hate I hate like the album that. I like shit like that. No, Damn, man. baby, I ain't listen to the whole thing. ain't working, man. Bro. I hate an album with 27. But 20, half of the album is just some trash. Hey, put out an album, though. Last joint was uh Life of Pablo. No, the last joint was the Christian album. People saying this is a gospel album as well. It kind of is. Kind of is. That. I think I heard a couple of songs. I think I'm going to go gospel, bro. Yeah, I ain't really a gospel, gospel artist. Right. I don't, I don't like gospel artists. <laughs> you don't like, why you don't like gospel, bro? Uh, I mean, I, I fuck with some gospel music, but I just gotta, I'm not gonna ride to a CD of gospel. I ain't gonna need flip. I, 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 I like gospel, but I'm more of a 
like the old traditional gospel. I like the old school gospel. I don't like the new stuff. Yeah, it's the blues for real. I, I still listen to blues. Why you bullshit? I love blues. Niggas don't listen to blues. What BB King, bro? My song I just listened to last two long. I used to be on Beale Street. Beale Street, where that at? Memphis. Memphis. Yeah, yeah. Hey. My auntie used to take me down there. Man, that shit used to be fun. Had to be 21 or older to get on that bit, but shit. He used to go Hey, tell this nigga unlock this shit, man. No, no, Booski. Yeah, man, so some facts about the uh, Donna album. It became the most streamed album of all time on Spotify. You know what I'm saying? So that was a good, I guess, feat for uh, Kanye. I think uh, when Drake Drake gonna drop his album, though, Kanye left the door open. Drake gonna come through. And, he gonna, and Kanye did. I don't think so. I don't know. Now, I hope he does, but... Got. Tomorrow, Tomorrow, yeah. Okay. We'll see. What's oh, he yeah. think? You, you, you don't know? I don't think so, man. I don't know. I can't say, man. <laughs> I okay. Know. I don't think so. I don't think he's going to do more than, than the kind what of What you thing. think, uh, Gator J, uh, Drake going to succeed? Man, I don't, I don't even think he going to do it, succeed. I ain't going to care. I wish he would have some type of damn little behind, little fan club, too. So you know how that go. Kanye got a uh, fan. Hey, yeah, he just he, he's like the queen bee of. Everybody yeah, got a little fan club that's you know a high artist though. You know, so I'm sure Drake got a got a fan club too. You know, you got the Drake fans. Drake definitely got a fan yeah, he got a fan club. He do, he yeah. do, but he not he don't have the fans like Kanye got the fans. Some, think, some people think, you know what I'm saying, Drake is the best oh, artist I think, right now. I think, I think Kanye fans is now, more loyal. Now, loyal. Drake go harder, no cap, but I think Kanye fans are a lot loyal, more loyal than Drake fans. Drake album is garbage. I'll say that, that right yeah, now. that's true. His album is trash, bro. So, I can't name an album that I actually like. Now, Drake put out them hits. He put out them goddamn hits, though. He a hit maker, but Kanye put out masterpieces of work. You know what I'm saying? He he got he got good albums, man. You good, Schmees? You, sh- you straight? <laughs> Somebody get the uh, culture house door for us, please, sir. The culture house door. Yeah, man, we live in this motherfucker. Uh. Lil Nas X, man, he shared a, he shared his pregnancy photos, man. Y'all seen that shit? Uh, I seen that hideous bullshit, y'all yo. Seen, y'all seen the baby bump? Man, that's some real bullshit, yo. If they don't start canceling this nigga, man, they need to cancel that shit, yo. Yeah. No cap, like. They about to have a baby, man. Yo, so that nigga to have a baby, cuz. He not the first. But still, like, that's an old, nasty-ass <laughs> shit, yo, like. I don't even talk about it. Man. I don't want to try to get, I don't want to get canceled. Man, fuck that shit, yo. That shit nasty. I probably gonna get canceled from week one, for real, <laughs> Say, how you doing, man? I'm good. <laughs> Late as ever. Late tight. Yeah, that's a, that's a nickname, late tight. Nah, because I was doing good for a long time. No, you wasn't. You no, ain't. No, win. Yes, I win. Win. What you mean, win? The last time you was on the show, you was late with your wet box. Before that, you was late with your box. Yeah, you been late for so, like about a month. So good, though, I really wasn't. First of all, I made a whole <laughs> ass promise to y'all that I was going to be on time. And, and, lie. and hey. No, I don't lie. You been late. Hey. I'm not going for that shit. You come in here, you sit down on the couch, and then you come over. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We been saying that shit. Okay, let's get off the table. Why? Tay, Tay, what you think? Oh, punch uh, the clock. Drake, Drake album gonna be better than Kanye's? Uh, certified lover boy? Yeah. No. D- have you heard the Donda album? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I figured that, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not really musically inclined, but it's all good. <laughs> Damn, she's not. She late and she musically inclined. Please stop. Because I've been on time. We're not going to do me like that. I'm trying to catch you up. Did you see the um, little Nas X pregnancy photos? What you think about it? <laughs> I thought he was beautiful. Nah, he was Get your beautiful ass out of here. What the fuck? 
I think yeah. it's different. I really do think that it's uh, super um, creative. How the fuck is that super oh, fucking creative? Say, Steve. I ain't gonna need any second. Man, fuck <laughs> that. How the fuck is that super creative? I think that it's different. He, he trying to... Y'all know what he's trying to do. He's trying to go viral. Genders, no, he's he trying to go he viral. He's trying to make gay shit okay. Make America gay. He man. already gay. No. And they know if he would came out like that, he wouldn't be hot right he now. He damn sure would. But y'all was dancing to that one nigga. Uh, Drake did a song with McConaughey. That nigga gay. What was that? It ain't about <laughs> being gay. It's y'all about niggas, how you are flamboyant. Okay, it's okay. So tell it's me not about the gay so shit. What about, so what about when the baby came out as an actual baby, had on a pamper, well, a, 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 a pacifier and did all did that Did it work shit. for him? It didn't work for no, him. No, the hell it did not. The baby, and that didn't whole, work for him when he first tried that shit. That did not work. Oh, what was that, that summer jail? About? When the baby first came out trying to be be who he was, in the diaper. he came out oh, yeah, in a little shit, diaper yeah. and shit. That shit down there fucking canceled yeah. him. That shit was a little weird. Yeah, he had to shit. He had to bounce back from that. He didn't. That shit didn't help him. That shit fucked his career at the time. Oh. Hey. So that's why he uh changed his name. Yes. That's no, really right. That's really right that. around the time. Yeah, yeah, that's really right yeah, around. Baby Jesus. Yeah, baby yeah. Jesus. And but that's when he changed his name right after that. So when he did that, he then they got canceled and he came up with just the baby. That's right around that same little time. Alright, man, this is before uh, hey, we we'll play a little game, man. Ask y'all like three little questions. Y'all tell me which one y'all would rather do. Alright, so start with Tay. I'm going nice. to ask all y'all, would y'all rather have a child every year for 20 years or never have children at all? Oh, have children every year for 20 years, shit. Me too. I wish Me I too. could do that now, have a child every year. Steve Knight, he's got that like, Fuck it, don't no give <laughs> Hard one, boy. Well, after, after 10 kids, no, you can't get married. So, like, you know, so I can really answer that. Hell no, I don't want no 20, 20 kids. <laughs> or you ain't, so you would rather not have kids? Yeah, no. With the same woman? It could be with the same woman. It's a, I do it with the same woman, but we got like 16 baby mamas. Now, this yeah. is the only time he won't, he won't one woman. It's only time. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, bro. I ain't gonna deal with all the personalities. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Scorpios and cancers and all that shit. Gee, you gonna have every sign. Yeah, every sign. Yeah, shit. All right, would y'all? Would That's you crazy. rather? Would you rather be an Oscar? Uh, would you rather be an extra in an Oscar-winning movie or a lead in a box office bomb? A lead in a box office bomb. Lead, for sure. Extras don't talk. Facts. Hey, I see that nigga in the background. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Well, you say that nigga that movie? The movie was shit, but that nigga could act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that nigga could stand in the corner. Hey. All right, so would you rather? He is tough. <laughs> he ain't even answered it. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no, nah. He's tough, bro. I'll probably do the Oscar winning. Yeah, I, uh, <coughs> I'm looking at this because people will see it. People gonna see it. You can always point it People out. People gonna see like, your movie. Just like it just You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I, I do. I do the uh, extra. I do the extra. But once, 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 we know the movie. What is that? The old movie, movie with Denzel Washington when they was in the uh, military. Oh, the 80s. Nah, it was, shit, it was early. I thought that was that movie with God in it. With God in it? Yeah. Passion of Christ? Nah. Nah. It was like 88. Are you kidding? This dog going time gap. I don't get it. Alright, so what, would you rather labor under a hot, under a hot sun? Or labor in extreme cold. It should be. That's a good one. It should be. I've been confused. I'd rather be cold. I'm going to do the cold. Fuck no. I'm with you, Tay. Yeah. I'm in six. 
111, 20, it don't matter. Yo, guess what? When you down cold and you down working, you forget about the cold because you get hot. I work but when your ass, cold. right, but when your ass get hot, I worked in the heat. Too. It ain't no cooling that motherfucker. All you gonna do is pour a little water on you and now you steaming. Shit, like. Fuck I don't that. know though, cause your, your bones and, and your blood might be I done did it both. Up. Give me the cold. I ain't rather have cold. I eat the cold. I, I rather. Cause you work the cold a lot, bro. A long time, bro. That shit get you off right after a while. And all that shit, shit a heat get you a stroke. Shit. I just hate, I'm, I just I'm hate when my though. feet get numb. Oh, shit, shit. it's healthy, motherfucker. I don't know, bro. I don't like that shit. Mm-mm. But I, w- I would rather. You know, be in shape. You know what I'm saying? You gotta sweat a lot. I would rather do the cold. You sweat in the cold, too, though. You gonna yeah. die sweating in the cold. Yeah, I'd rather sweat in the cold than sweat uh, in the heat. I mean, how, the COVID you, how do you even sweat in the cold? Shit, when you, when you work it on. Turn into icicles. No, it don't, nigga. You know, it don't have to be freezing for you to be cold. Right, yeah. You, you talking about like 30 degrees. Or something. I worked, that's how I worked in like refrigerator. Yeah, I did too. Uh, you know nah, you doing that? I, I know, that's why I said you scared me with a coffin. I don't wish that shit on the fucking enemy. All right, man, let's go and get to our second unsigned artist. Who we got, man? We got, you ready for the interview for this nigga? All right, man, we got UA. Song called Mansions. Find him on our platform. Hit him, Shmee. Yeah. <laughs> The Starving Artist Podcast. Uh, yeah. Now I go with the press. Oh my god. Dropping that hot shit all fucking night. Yeah. Yeah. It's a trap, not a mansion. Yeah, we going off like Melly Manson. Got my nuts, no random. When they hit the lights, my gun is dancing. Yeah. It's a trap, not a mansion. Yeah, we going up like Melon Manson. Got my nuts so random. When they hit the lights, my gun is dancing. Got my nuts, got my cheese, that's my Gouda. One phone call and I'm lining up my shooters. Snap my phone like a Bermuda when they pull up with the Ruger. Rolling up, extend those, but they talking got a ruler. Not a Glock, no Beretta. Strapping any weather. When they put it on the sweater, get that chicken like a devil's Built for this life, I'm a do this shit forever Yeah, I know it was meant for me Call this shit my destiny Wally boy the chef, always got the fucking recipe Leaving y'all my legacy, hit them with that pedigree Had to do it to them to make sure they all remember me So trap, not a mansion Yeah, we going off like Melly Manson Got my nuts, no random When they hit the last one, that was dancing Your coochie song. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm in the shower and I'm just listening to it, 
You know what I'm saying? I'm just shaving away. It's like it's a good background track. You bob your head to it. Yeah, it's that. a background track. You get what I'm saying? Like you're doing what you're yeah. doing, but. Hey, we fuck. I'm fucking with it though. <laughs> Shave your coochie. Hey, yeah. thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, we got him on. We got him on, on the phone right now for an interview. You a hey, man, what's happening? What's going Bro, on? It was man? good. Thank you for having us, man. Yeah, for Thank sure, y'all. man. And where you tell the folks where you from, man? Man, we're originally from Southern California, and right now we reside in Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, shit. Uh, yes, sir. So tell us, tell us how you came up with this song, uh, Mansions, man. Like, what, what's the, uh, how you come up with it? <laughs> what's the process? A good question, bro. Uh, we actually did that during COVID. COVID. We didn't have our studio uh, set up yet, so we were still recording from different places. And uh, that was one of the sessions we got done separately. But once we played the song uh, in the same room, we decided to make it a group track. We go by UA the duo. So uh, it got a verse from Wally and from Slow Mo. So that's how that came to be. Okay, shit. So how long have you been doing music? Good question. We, we've been working since late 2014, like December 2014, going into 2016, so right around six years, uh, we've been grinding there. Okay, okay. Okay, so shit, tell us what what differenti- what differentiates, <laughs> what's the difference between y'all and these other rappers out here, dog? Man, there's no rappers out there that are siblings, man. Me and, me and my little brother, we go bar for bar, we raise each other's expectations every time, and we just push each other to keep getting better, and we push each other to be original at all at all given time. We're not trying to do what everybody else is doing. We're trying to create our own lane, our own sound. Fact. Yeah, y'all definitely got your own sound. So, is y'all music going up in in, in uh, Utah? Uh, what's the what's the hip hop scene out there? Good question, man. It was real tough at first. Everybody was kind of stuck in the boom bap days, you know, the real old school backpack sounding rap. And uh, we were kind of the first more modernized rap group out on the scene. So it took a little while to win the people over, but now today we're one of the biggest duos out of the state. And it's all, you know, thanks to our consistency and these people tuning in and giving us an opportunity and giving our sound a chance yeah. and it grows on people it seems like so it's a good thing if you could um compare yourself to anybody who would you compare yourself to that's a great question uh Ooh. i would say we're like a mixture of like three six mafia and cypress hill i thought y'all was original <laughs> That was a trick question. We, we, yeah, we definitely are original, but you know, everyone takes inspiration from different things. So I would say those two groups I just named, they have a, you know, a major influence on, on who we are today. So what can we expect to hear more from you from? Uh, we actually have an EP dropping next Friday, September 10th. It's uh, six tracks. And all the all a variety of sounds, so you'll get the slow tracks and like 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 the girl was saying, some shake your booty tracks, you know, and, yeah, and stuff like that. So we have got a variety for sure. And then we got all every Friday this month we're gonna have a new music video dropping. So if you guys wanna follow us at UA the Duo on any social media platform, y'all can stay tuned with all our music video releases. And on every streaming app too. So y'all a group. So who's Wally? Who's Wally? And what does UA stand for? Like, what's the whole concept of that? Uh, yeah, great question, bro. So I'm Wally. I'm the one that talks to to you guys. You know, to set this up. Okay. I'm the younger. I'm the younger brother. The younger half. Um, and to answer what UA is, we actually rebranded our name a few years back. We used to go by Underground Ambition, which is what UA stands for. But 
it was hard for people to remember that when we say our name like during a live performance, especially if we only said it like one or you know one or two times. It, it, it just wouldn't stick. So we decided to go with something a little more to the point. People called us UA for short anyway, so UA the duo, the duo of two people. So that's where that came from. So who's who on the song on Manson? Uh, Mansion is me, Wally, and Slow Mo. We're the two members of UA the Duo. Wally has the hood and the first verse, and then I believe I have the second verse on that on that track. Okay, man, dope, man. We gonna be uh checking y'all out. You know what I'm saying? I'm making some good music out there in Utah. I ain't never been to Utah. I gotta visit, man. Thank you, man. Neither had we, man. Our, our parents brought us out here. Uh, so we didn't really have much of a say, but we kind of stayed here. We go back to Cali every once in a while, but, you know, we ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Unless we come into some big bucks, you know, we'll probably move out. But we ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. I see y'all got a song with uh, Country Black. How was that? Ah, oh, Country Black. Yeah, man, that was actually me that put that together. I I uh, came across somebody that knew him personally, and just kind of like a random leap of faith, man. I asked him, like, hey, is there any way you can connect me with him? And then a couple of days later, there's Country Black hitting up my phone. Uh, asking me, you know, what I what I want, basically. And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to work. And so he made it happen, man. We went out to Chicago and shot the video out there with Front. We were out there for about a week. Hit the studio with him. Did a, did a uh, it was a kind of like a club slash bar. And we got to perform the song live there. So it was really dope, man. It was a whole vibe that trip. Okay. That was Back. up, man. We definitely gonna be looking out for you. So uh, go ahead. Thank you, man. We appreciate the opportunity to you know be out there, man. Thank you guys for the yeah, time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Go ahead, and let the people know where they can find you at. Thank you. Uh, you guys, you guys can find me personally at Slomo S L O W M O underscore U A at or our actual group at U A the Duo T H E D U O. And you can find me on my personal page at Wally underscore UA, W-A-L-L-Y underscore UA. We're on all social media platforms. We're on all uh, streaming apps, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Tidal, Deezer, you name it. We're on there at UA The Duo. So join us, you know, follow us for the ride. We got plenty in store and a lot yeah. of videos locked and loaded. Yeah, and then if you guys actually like visuals along with the music, then, you know, subscribe to us at UA The Duo TV. And we pretty much, this whole month, we're going to be uploading. And probably, hopefully, we keep uploading on a consistent basis for y'all. Yep. All right, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep going, man. Keep grinding. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was you, A, and Wale. Wally. Y'all fucking with the trap, man. Make sure y'all go follow him on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Gaddy, yeah, you fucking with it? <laughs> man, it was, it was all right. It was like my type of music, but you know, shit. I wish the best for them boys. If they make it, hey, I ain't mad at them. Everybody got their own little unique niche and shit. Apparently they got theirs. So yeah. I ain't mad at it. For sure, man. All right, so but I don't like female rappers either, so hey, it is what it is. <laughs> Hell is I mean, that like just came out of nowhere. That shit just came out of nowhere. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan, uh, she has confession <laughs> sessions on IG, man. It's, it's a place where she, uh, Lends her platform to her followers, and they can go on there and uh, confess their deepest, darkest secrets, man. So it caused an uproar on Twitter. Uh, some of the confessions were: I helped, I helped set up my girlfriend's parents' 
uh, to get her bin stolen for 30%. She did. No, not Jasmine Sullivan. These are these are her followers uh, saying this. One one other person said, I think he's ugly, like his mom, and I'm glad we don't have kids together. <laughs> I had sex with both of their parents. It's one of the, one of the, one of the, one of the both of them be lying like a motherfucker. I don't know if they lied or not, man. Lying like a motherfucker. It's funny. The mom and the dad? Nah, but that's that's apparently what they saying. This the same person saying all this? No, these are different people. followers. These are different people. Does that make the person a step parent? <laughs> nope. She would tell that like crazy tale. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, another person said, I was catching his daddy's nut before I was catching his nut. That sounded like Lauren Lund. Not Lauren Lund. What's her name? Oh, shit. It was on Tim Mutton. The one with uh, Lauren Lund. Yeah, Lauren Lund. Diddy and his son. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know, I know what you're talking about. The, uh, Look, is it Harvey? Laurie, Harvey? They both yeah. the same person. Yeah. So I say this, man. Tell me a secret that y'all got, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the secrets y'all got? If we tell it, wouldn't be a secret. From y'all past exes and shit like that. Shit, I ain't well, got no secrets. You got them, <laughs> I don't ask shit, shit. I'm an old book. I always tell motherfucker don't ask no question you don't really want to know an answer to. So, she, I ain't gonna ask you no question. I don't want to know an answer to. Say, you got one? A secret. I got a secret. Let's Tell that motherfucker. I, I'm gonna tell mine. Tell your deepest, dark secret. But it's not, it's not, my secret is not like I fuck her parents or some shit. I'm crazy. Ain't nothing much. You ain't got one ain't thing. Ain't no deep dark secret. Go ahead and say your shit, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you I had to say that. I mean, shit, mine is like it's a little embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna say it because I, I I like to be trapped. You said what? What you <laughs> say? You in the bed last night. Holy like. shit, bro! How you know that, bro? <laughs> oh, I pissed I pissed in my girlfriend's bed one one night. She ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Tay? No. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. Are we, are we being transparent here? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Y'all niggas cat. <laughs> what you did? You, you sneeze and it just came out? <laughs> I was sleeping and shit. Y'all niggas have never pissed in the bed? No, no. Yeah. What's your scary movie or something? Hey, shit. You a grown man? Oh, yes, I was. I was. Oh, you I was like, what? I was probably like 19, 18, some shit like that. Grown ass man, peeing in the bed. What the fuck? Y'all niggas never, so y'all ain't never pissed in the bed. No, I have never pissed in the bed. How did you hide pee? From her? How did you hide pee from her? I don't know. She just never brought it up. Like, she, I, like, you know what I'm saying? I woke up. This year, yeah, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, damn. It turned around, PCA, real boy. All the accident, goddamn. That's probably why she broke up with it. <laughs> right. Oh, you ain't gonna say that. Say y'all ain't, say y'all ain't gonna tell y'all secrets. Really y'all gonna be quiet. I ain't got no secrets. You're fucking lie, man. Stop lying. I don't got secrets. I'm not no secret type nigga. Damn lie, nigga. I know Steve got one over there. I know Steve got one. I got no motherfucker. Secrets, right? Man, like, shit, I'm an open book. Like, I don't believe in secrets. Lying and nigga. Who am I keeping secrets? She, she, she don't put her finger in your booty hole one time. What the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, that's that. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> put her finger in your booty hole. Y'all trick daddy in your bitch. That might be something he got going on. I know, boy. He look like he like to get his ass out of here. I'm trying to get it out of y'all. So y'all ain't got no, so we got to move on to the next topic. Oh, man, bro. Yeah, man. I ain't got no secrets, bro. Right. I'm a grown ass man. What secret is there for me to keep? I don't know, man. You're not keeping it from me, you know, you're keeping it from her. Like, you don't want to tell her. Like, you might have fucked, you might have fucked her homegirl. You, you ain't, you ain't never fucked your girlfriend, homegirl, or some shit. <laughs> Transparent, yeah. I'm 
trying to have a show. Y'all niggas don't want to give up the secrets and shit. It's all good. Hey, right, we can keep, we can keep going. We can keep going. We can keep moving. Man. Ain't Pete that shit was funny. Hell, Sean ain't Pete in the bed. Hell, yeah, Sean sure ain't Pete in the bed. I don't know, man. You should be embarrassed to tell you about that. Fuck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I tried rapping 10 years ago. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so uh, would y'all date a former ass eating woman? She she ate her ex's ass, or she ate niggas' ass before? <laughs> no. Would y'all date her? Would y'all? And she fine as fuck though. She that's just a sexual. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a sexual act. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You can't yeah, fuck. You guess. can't fuck with a big girl, but she can suck your dick. I, I just, it's a difference. She said. I just have to fuck with the lights on. A woman is a woman. A coochie is a coochie. No, I'm just saying, cause it'd be hard to find a hole when it's good. Cause it's belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that good shit. Oh, pick that shit up. Lay on your back. The crease is being waxed. Premature. Nah, it would be straight out, man. Fucking no big girl. That nigga really. I don't fuck some big girls. Your problem is he be really thinking he in that motherfucker. He really just be in the crease of a thigh. So that's why I need that light. Oh my god. Hey. Now, you know what I'm saying? One time I made a mistake and stuck it in the belly. You know? I'm telling you, I know what yeah. that is. You be thinking yeah. you didn't know that. You had it. You in the gut. You in the gut. Told you, I knew exactly what it was. I did about five pushes. I told you. And she was like, You ain't there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I told you from the back, bro. I ain't know, bro. I I thought I was I told you, I did not lie. I knew that shit. It was like two years ago, too. Yeah. Damn, two years ago. Your taste is your taste. I mean, that ain't my taste. I just was, you know what I'm saying, some horny shit. (laughs) That's how I did, bro. Yeah, I ain't calling, you know what I'm saying. Nigga went to work. That was it. Let's try and hit a nigga up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, the moral of the story is, if I let a woman eat my ass, I don't give a fuck about you, really. Huh? <laughs> what? That's the moral of the story, man. <laughs> if you let a woman eat my ass, that's so you let a woman eat your I ass? Said, if I let a woman so eat your ass. No, but no. if. You, that means you, know, you, you consider it. Or, or, you See, that's, 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 that's why I, I, I don't want to go through that shit. So, it's the positioning that I got to be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want that shit. Like, nah. Uh-uh, I, but I said it, if a woman eat my ass. So that means you're considering it. I'm done. Hey. So basically what you said is, if that motherfucker just grab your legs and hit you, you like, okay, cool. That's basically what you saying. You're not gonna ask her to do it, but if she do it, you nah, ain't mad either. Nah, nah. That's basically what he's saying. Nah, I don't give a That's fuck. That's basically what he's saying. Nah, you ain't doing it. Fact. You can't tell my ass. You can't bad nigga. No, I'm not. There's That's other bad. ways to not care about something. Fact. Oh. <laughs> Like that on her face or some shit. Like, <laughs> make her swallow or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Slap or spit on her or some shit. You ain't gotta put your ass in there, bro. That nigga that you don't care about? You ain't gotta bend over. That nigga real submissive. Yeah. Hey, man, let's go ahead and get to our third unsung artist, man. We got, who we got, man? We got, got, um, Really Guns. Song called Lost Souls, man, from Instagram. You know what I'm saying? All platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Starving Artist Podcast. Uh, yeah. Now I go with the press. Oh my god. Dropping that hot shit all oh, fucking night. We should be heading nowhere, yeah. I wish I never bought a diamond, yeah. Like, 
relationships and all of that. This was like young, young, like I was like 15 when I did that. Oh, but what I'm trying to explain we is all fucking what I'm trying to explain is the reason why I did it is because I lost respect for him. So when I cheated, there the question was about loyalty and all that, right? I lost respect. So you know what? So you, you I can't up. moving forward. She there, there that, is that's no. That's how we all get hurt as young men. That's why we start cheating for the rest of our life. Yeah, we right. really care about you at fifteen, <laughs> and then you be cheating and shit. Then we start cheating till we like fifty. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? It's really. It, it it's okay. 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 That, that, that could be, that could be, that could be your your truth. That, that's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know nothing about y'all. I didn't know nothing about relationships. That's what we think is real love. I didn't know we be, about Men be in real love at first, and yeah. then when they first get their heart broke, they be like, man, fuck this yeah, shit. Fuck this shit will never happen again. Yeah. Fact. So we just gonna be cheating. And then, and cheating motherfuckers after that. And then that's how you do it. 
So you gotta find like the right one. Yeah. People like you, tell you, you guilty. I mean, I don't give a fuck about that. If you don't heal your own hurt, here if, right you don't, if you don't heal your own hurt moving forward in life, then that's that your problem. So, yeah, so what, are, what are some of the other things Cry. you give up besides, <laughs> besides the pussy when you cheat? Like, on your husband. Like, what are some of the other things you give up? Like, what you're saying is, like, what is considered to be cheating? Uh, yeah. If you text a nigga, is that cheating? No, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I find out, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe great. it is. If you text a nigga, I believe it's like a catalyst to cheating because I wouldn't want my husband to be texting another woman. So I seen a post the other day that said like it said basically if 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 your girl uh if a girl say she got a boyfriend when you slide in her deal keep shooting your shot yeah because they ain't gonna a real girl got a uh, girl boyfriend she ain't gonna reply how true is it would you let them know that you got like a boyfriend or you just not gonna reply when somebody slide in your dm I'm ignored. You ignore? Mm hmm. Nigga, like me, I ain't gonna need to go back and reply no way, though, if she telling me she got a boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? For real. I ain't gonna reply again. I feel like it's corny to keep replying. Yeah, I agree. Like you know what I'm saying? She already told me she got a boyfriend, so. Her so that's what stops you from wanting that's what her would stop me. No, that, that, would, that would stop me from wanting her, yeah. I will respect. Yeah. I respect that. You know what I'm saying. Oh, so but if I run across her later on, <laughs> but she if she give that up there, she I don't give a fuck about that nigga either. You know what I'm right, saying. Right. I don't know that nigga. Uh, I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know that. Hey, but uh, shit, we you know we supposed to have more than one woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's good. You know, you know that's his favorite. Right, Steve. We supposed to have like four, five women. You know what I'm saying? For real. We're supposed to get married to four, five women. That's what God want. I feel that. For real. Uh, let me ask you have one more question, man. I seen this shit on Twitter. It's kind of funny. He said, "Grown man, why y'all still playing video games?" A young heartlet said. Then a young king responded, "Same reason why you wear makeup. Nice little escape from reality." <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> so, Tay, do you do you uh, would you? Do you respect your man if you play video games? Like, is that a problem? Is that an issue? A lot of niggas play video games. I mean, two I feel like not all day. It's an issue if it's all day and life is just fucking. It's past. niggas that really just come home and shit. go straight to the video game and stay on their beach till it's time to go to work. And then that's a problem. That now that's a that problem. Is a problem. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, that's just a a hobby, something that you do. That's. That's like me scrolling on social media. Or Unless you ain't got shit to do. Like, he ain't got no woman, he ain't got no kids, you know what I'm saying? The 40 year old version. Yeah, you know, damn. He can live his life. But he got a family at the crib, then. Nah, yeah, I feel like it's definitely a time and a place. Like, I played yeah. that at like 10 o'clock at night. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't play that motherfucker at all. I don't play that motherfucker. I, I don't. Play, man. I, I got all two them. hours a day, you know what I'm saying? I really be busy throughout my day, so sometimes I just might lay back, smoke. Goddamn. Play the game for a couple of hours, go to sleep. No, I'm not doing none of that. So what y'all think about? Would y'all do y'all care about women who wear makeup? Like, would you? Is I don't care for shit? makeup. I, my, I don't think a lot of men don't really care for makeup. They want a natural woman, but I like the hair. All I like the hair. Yeah, all that shit. Right. Like natural look. Yeah. Okay. Most of, but see, that's what women fail to realize. They be thinking men want all this crazy shit, and they really don't. Yeah. Men are so fucking simple that it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But it's women competing with each other what make this motherfucking mess out here. Because, hell, I can take my, as long as my woman natural beauty, we can go anywhere with her hair how it is, with no makeup on, no eyelashes, well, and then we'll be is. cool. Yeah, however it is, like shit. You know. Well, she got the 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 temp fade like Steve with the. With the Even if she got that shit, as long as it look cute on her, it's like shit, I'm cool with that. So what's the equivalent uh, for men? Like how women wear makeup? What what is the equivalent for men? Beards. No. Hey, that girl. So, so, I, say, I, say, <laughs> I, I say jewelry and clothes and shit. Jewelry and clothes. Jewelry. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I say bears because uh, no, a, lot a lot of, of men, if they shave the bears off, if they shave that bears, 
Like glasses. Had a half of y'all women, y'all wipe your face out. You look totally different. Totally different. Like you take them eyebrows away. Yeah, like eyelashes and all that shit. It's a wrap. Some of that fucked me up when I seen Mariah Carey and Precious. That shit had fucked me up, cuz. I don't know if y'all remember, she was a social worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't have no makeup, bro. She ain't look good at all. Like, at all, bro. I know they used to look at Mariah Carey. Maybe like it was their movie. Bro. Maybe they made her look like that. Man, she was ugly, bro. <laughs> like, bad, bro. Like, damn. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. Uh, nah, but I think most men on. prefer a natural woman. Say, you don't wear makeup, do you? No. I prefer a natural woman. What, your real hair? That's your real hair? No, that's a wig. Oh. Take that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> Set it off in this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I am thinking about cutting my hair again. I was like short, short at one point. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, man. Well, shit. Oh, shit. What the? Hello, hello. Yeah, man. Stopping us podcast, man. This is episode 41 in the books, man. I appreciate y'all boys coming with us. Coming, coming down here fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I bet. <clears throat> Y'all wanna give out your handles? Um, you can find me on Instagram at simply Tamari or Tater Mindset Coach. Man, you can find me at Gator J Gator J A Y two three one. Find me at Low Key Steve, Low Key L O K E Y underscore Steve. All right, man. Find me at BlessNet on IG. Follow the TSA underscore podcast. Make sure you go to tsapodcast.com for your merch. Another episode, man. Let me ask y'all this one question, unsigned artist. Is you hungry? I'm always hungry. The Starving Artist Podcast. Yeah, you know what I'm doing with the press. Oh, fucking night.